Hello there guys, uh, I'm Jack, also my main name is Jack Dev. Um, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make side lights today uh, that actually reflect the environmental at the side. Um, I haven't seen a decent video of this before, so I decided to make one. So let's give it a go. So today I'm using Matt's charger, this is the paid version, because I can get that. Um, it's really well done, I'll give it to him. Um, I'm also using Panos's M7. Um, also, it's a good uh, light, it's also paid, but the concept still stands for any vehicle, for any light, it's just the same thing. I'm going to have it off the vehicle and outside, just so you guys can see it, uh, make it easier. If you use the big light, just again, make it easier uh, to see it. But I'm going to set all the dummies up and everything like that, as if it was in the back here, uh, of the rear door. Okay, so let's get started, shall we? So, to begin with, we're going to um, have the light. Uh, in we we should know how to import that and everything we did that in the last week video i did on the tutorial uh, that shows everything that um you need to know about importing and merging etc etc so um th the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start by creating a dummy helper you're going to go up to the top here and create a dummy helper this will create a blue dummy there and a dummy helper here what you're going to do is you're going to put all of this all your light into the dummy helper now, when you're making a light, to make sure that um, it'll work properly and not break pretty much, um, you want the, uh, the dummy, uh, the main dummy, to be centered to the world um, and not to anything else. So if the rotation scales off, the rotation of the scale will be off as well uh, when you're either scaling the light down or have just the base in normally. So I always use a dummy helper and it always does it perfectly. So what we're going to do is um, to begin with we're just going to LED the base and get that working. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn off L0, you're going to click the dummy helper here, uh, not rename it, click the dummy helper so it's highlighted in yellow, click compound or convert to compound, lock it, click L0 and drag up the base, so not the light, the base, then you'll see that the um, the lights actually disappear that's because the um, order of the mesh has changed and because the glass is inside the mesh um, it'll inside the main base sorry it'll it goes over the top of the uh, the lights because it's you know, that's how it is um, and it's, it, it, it that's normal but um it looks weird in Zmod um, but it'll be fine in game once you're doing that you can untick um, unlock it and then uh, rename it to whatever you want it to be side light that would work fine okay so what we're going what we do from there is we'll go to the left view here we'll have the front and top view this is how I normally have mine set up I normally have this as user mode but we'll keep it 3d just so it's easier for people starting off so from there what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, just attach these two together just so they're one single thing. You can UV wrap it. I will UV wrap it quickly just to uh, show that. So what you're going to do to UV wrap it, you're going to right click, UV, uh, edit UV mapping, and then I'm going to keep old mapping. So I'm not going to force it onto another material, and I'm going to have it from the viewport. Click OK. Then I'm going to change it to the UV mapper at the top, and then material. I'll click the material, and you've, both, you've got them both here. Let's change it to, uh, to uh, all blue. So just drag this down. Up. Once we've got that, we can then show back to the top view, and that is then re UV mapped. Uh, and that's easy. Okay, so now we're here, we've got the dummy set up down there. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, reset this dummy, uh, reset the mesh, sorry, to the dummy. So we're going to right click, oh, give it a sec, it's auto saving. We're going to right click, reset to parent, that then jumps the axis down to the parent here, which is the dummy. Um, so that's where it should be consider thinking about if it's in a door the light is gonna uh, is gonna start around here on the floor and not like out here where um, you would normally put it uh, if you're scaling anything else so it's just little tri uh, tricks like that that can uh, further improve models uh, then once you've got it the uh, axis down there we're gonna go to scale and I'm gonna be scaling my lights down to 0 0.01 which I would scale it up to 100 in the car cold we'll get to that in a little bit so 0 0.01 on the x-axis, 0 0.01 on the y-axis, and 0 0.01 on the z-axis. 
So all that does is just scale it down. But because we're doing side lights, we also need to rotate it because how GTA works, it scales it up and then rotate it back around to where uh, the original position is. So we're going to uh, go up to rotation here on the transform and on the Y axis only, we're going to change to 90. This is because uh, I'll put on the screen now, you'll see the rotation chart. Um, on the left hand side, it is um, 90. So that's we, we scale it down to, and then in the car calls, it is 1.5707963. I know that because I've been doing modeling so long, and I am really sad. I also know that on the right hand side, it is negative 90, which is negative 1.5707963. It, you just learn it after you keep doing it, just pretty much muscle memory in your brain. Um, so that's how, that's how it works. You'll, you'll I'll also put a uh, link to the picture, I think it's in an Imga, um, below check that out and uh, use it but you've done all of this you can click apply you'll see that it's scaled down and it will be facing me then uh, on the front axis sorry uh, then we can go to create and then copy and then create two more copies you can do three if you want I usually just do two um, then we can press shift D to unselect it and that unselects everything we then highlight the um, uh, the dummy here we don't select it we just highlight it in yellow by clicking it we then turn off L0 and then um, click convert to compound so that puts in default lock it and then click L0 and then drag in one of them it doesn't matter which one you can do it all in order it doesn't matter I'll show you click L1 and do the, uh, the bottom one and then just do it to L2 or L3 I've never used I think I tried to use L4 at one point but that didn't work I don't know what L4 does I I don't know I just leave it alone. I usually only do to uh, L2 because that's, you know, most of my molds don't contain um, LODs. Anyway, once we've done that, we can then rename this to whatever Siren it is you're going to use. Just because this is the first one, I'm going to use Siren 1. Okay, so once we've done that, this is the, that well, that is the entire light set up. Um, so the light is somewhere down, oh, oopsies. Light is somewhere down here. Um, I can't actually see it because it's scaled down so small. Thing. So once we've done that, we can then put the light inside of your um, your car. If it was inside the door, you would put it inside the door here. Um, if it was on the mirror, you put it inside there. You get the idea. Pretty much, this rotation will be the same for the rear, uh, the right, and then kind of like rear and right and front and left. It, get the idea so um i'm gonna quickly head over to the car calls i haven't set up a file for this yet i need to do that i'm gonna head over to the car calls and we will uh carry on from there but we're back in just a second okay so here we are in the file i've just named charge 10 because that's what we just want to um name as i haven't actually got 10 charges just want to name it as so this is how i set up my files um i've always had problems with data files so i just put them out in with the resource lure and then that's how i set up in the resource lure it's quite simple um i don't really need much in here so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the car calls here and we're going to change this id value to whatever the hell you like it could be any number please for the love of god do not just change by one number so don't just change to five like that it won't work completely change the number um, it, I've seen many people do it and it is slightly annoying for a vehicle developer. So once we're here, we're going to go down to your siren. I'm using siren 1 again, like I said. Um, it doesn't matter which siren you're using, it's all the same, pretty much. So what we're going to do, uh, because we have a flashy light, or flashiness, um, we're going to have to change these values, well, I'll say these values, that value there. Because again, on the screen is the um, rotation chart. That shows you what you have to change this delta to. So because it's on the left hand side, we need to change it to 1.5707963. So now that's that, that'll then rotate it to the left hand side. Then we have to change the scale factor, so mine's already at 100. Um, and then you got the color, which we can change to a blue. So we can remove them to put out there. That's now a blue color. And then you don't really need to change anything else if you want to change the kronas or uh, the intensity, you just change it there. Once you've done that, you then copy the ID from the car calls at the top here, go to car variations and go to the bottom, change the assignment setting there. 
and then make sure everything's set up in the uh, vehicle manager. Once we've done that, we'll export it out and um, I'll add the text and everything. I'll do that quickly and uh, I'll be back once I've done that. I uh, also forgot to mention that sometimes when scaling down, the lights can break and to be honest, work with the Z mod. What you're going to do to make sure that it all works properly is you're going to wait for the auto save. Okay, so once it's done, you're going to select the light, you're going to go over to properties, and then scale it up to 100 or whatever you did to scale it down. So if it was 0 0.5, you scale it up to 2. Then you go to rotation, and then to do this, you're going to want to scale it by negative 90 um, to put it back to where it was. So we click apply. Now if we turn the side light on, you'll see that it has some reason flipped around. For what reason that is, I have no idea. Welcome to the Z mod. What you're going to do to fix this, you're going to press F on your keyboard, that flips the background, and you're going to do this to surface, and then calculate normals. So calculate normals, change it back, and make it look better. Calculate normals that uh, on object mode, then in polygon, and then vertex there, and then you're going to change the external state ID to zero, and then for group practice, I do it in polygon as well, zero, and vertex mode in there as well. Once you've done that, you go back to the object mode, go back to rotation, change that back to zero, change these back to one, and then click apply, and it goes back to where it was originally, and that has fixed it and is working now. So I'm going to export this, and I'll see you in game. All right, so here we are in game. Uh, let's go over here, and we're going to spawn in. Here it is, now if we click Q, does it work? Let's go on. That is because I also made a fatal error again. What I need to do is we need to go into the material browser up here. I'm not fully with it today. Um, give me just a second. So we go to the material browser here and we go down and we get the emissive here. Pull this emissive right to the very top under the default material uh, we export out of Traeger because I am pretty stupid so apparently I was being a complete and utter idiot the whole time and I didn't have the spawn code right so in dmod so it didn't properly change and I was pretty much part of the story don't be an idiot but it does work there you go um, as long as you have the material order correct the car calls and you scale it down correctly um, it will work fine and yeah so that's how to get it all working it will pretty much the same for the right hand side just that you change the rotation in the mod and the delta in the um, car calls if you have any questions my discord is below um, with a great team of people that can help you out if needs be um, yeah if you have any more questions feel free to leave in the comments as well I might respond to them but the discord is the better place to um, go to. If you want to get any of my models as well, you can go to my website below. It will have everything on there you can purchase it from. Um, yeah, that's it, really. Thank you for watching um, and have fun uh, making models.